Welcome to the Tampa School Real Estate Exam Math Prep videos. These videos will walk you through step by step to solving math questions that are commonly found on the Florida Real Estate Exam. You can download a copy of this math guide for free at tampaschoolofrealestate.com. In this video, we'll be solving practice problem number one. Now, when taking your exam, it is always important to carefully read and reread the question to ensure you don't skip over any important information. Let's begin by reading this question. A duplex is scheduled to close on February 10th, not a leap year. The seller collected rent in the amount of $560 per unit. The sales contract calls for the day of closing belonging to the buyer. Calculate the proration using the number of days in the month. Now, let's pick out the important information we need from this question. First, let's identify what the question is specifically asking for. This is usually found at the end of the question. In this case, we'll be calculating the proration and we'll be using the actual days method. So this question is asked us to find out how the prepaid rent will be split up at the time of closing. The seller has been paid rent for the entire month, but the buyer is entitled to the rent money for the days that the buyer owns the property that month. Let's find the information we need to solve this problem. We'll first figure out how many days belong to each, the buyer, and the seller. The problem states that the closing date is on February 10th, and that it is not currently a leap year. So we know that this month will only have 28 days. Let's plot these dates on a number line. We're going to use this line to represent the entire month of February. We'll use the far left as the beginning of the month, or February 1st, and the far right of the line to represent the end of the month, or February 28th. Now we can plot our day of closing, which is February 10th. And if we look back at the question, we can see that it states that the day of closing belongs to the buyer. So on the number line, that means February 10th to February 28th, including February 10th, belongs to the buyer. If we count out these days, we end up with a total of 19 days belonging to the buyer. Let's hold on to this number because we're going to be using it in our calculation. Our next step is to calculate the total rent collected for the month. Let's take a look back at our question. An important fact to note is that the property in this problem is a duplex. That's why it's important to carefully read the question, because many testers often overlook the key information in the first few words of the question. Since the rent is given as $560 per unit, we must multiply the per unit rent by 2 since the duplex has 2 units. To do this, we'll take our $560 per unit rent and multiply it by two units to give us a total monthly rent of $1,120. Now we must find out the daily rent for both units. To do this, we're going to take our $1,120 of total monthly rent and divide it by the total number of days in all of February, which we decided was 28. This will give us a daily rent of $40. Now we take this $40 daily rent and multiply it by our total buyer days, which you remember from our number line is 19. That will give us our total buyer share of the rent, which is $760. Since the seller already has this money and it must be transferred to the buyer at closing, this will be recorded as a $760 debit to the seller, meaning the seller is being charged $760 and it's being transferred to the buyer so we can also record a $760 credit to the buyer. We hope this video has helped you understand how to solve this question. For more math videos and other real estate exam prep tools, visit tampaschoolofrealestate.com.